Hello, good day to you. Today, my demonstration is about how you can create static routing on your Linux operating system. I will be demonstrating with CentOS and Ubuntu Linux. I will also show you how you can accomplish this using LMCLI. LMCLI can be used on any distro or operating system that supports it. Uh, let's go to the terminal. I will first of all go to my CentOS system. So I am on CentOS 7.3. So I have uh, my interface is ETH0. So and if I run IP route, oh, I have a couple of routes actually. But let me bring down my ETH0. Some of these routes are not supposed to be there. Um, I am bringing down and I'm bringing back up my interface. Oh, it's back up. Let me run IP route again. So, these are the routes that actually are configured for me by the system. So, we have a default route and two other routes. So, for you to create a static route in, uh, in on CentOS system, all you need to do is add a file. You have to add a file that is specifically named route dash the interface that is the interface that you are, uh, that you want this route to be on. Also, for example, we want to add a new route, we have to add a new file in SC sysconfig network scripts, and the name of the file is route dash h0. So, depending on your interface name, that is what name you have to put there. So I press enter. So let's say we want to add a route to address. So the address will be the address of the network. And we have to put zero. The zero signifying this is our first route here. So let's say we want to go to 168.162. Sorry, 192.168.10.0. Uh, the next mask we had is zero is 255.255.255.0 the gateway you have to specify the gateway you see we have to put a zero at the end of each of them signifying that they are the first set so gateway um, to show you this more, let me create one more set. So if you need to add one more set, you basically just... So instead of zero now, I will add one. So the numbers have to be so sequential. So let's say this, this route is, this network is uh, 20. Oh, let me add one more component. You can add if you want. It's metric. Metric, let me have metric, oh, sorry, metric two. And this is gateway two. And equals to, let me give the metric 120. So let's write and quit. So let's check our route. The route is, is not there yet. To activate the route, we have to bring down the interface and bring it back up. This is a very important command, especially if you are connected to your server via SSH. You must run this command separated by a semicolon on the same line. If not, you are going to lose your SSH connection. So let's bring down and bring back up. Let's run IP routes. Uh, it's not there. Why not? Let's check the file to make sure we have the right uh, address address one address oh sorry you see how important the number is i put two here this should be one this should be one this should be one so you see uh you have to write address and then the the, the, uh, the number so this the first set is zero all of them must have zero the second set is 
a one. So let's write and quit. Let's bring down and up again. Now, IP route. You see now, I have two additional routes. One of them with metric of one twenty, like we had. So, uh, easily that is how you can create uh, an IP, a static IP on your system. The second method I will show you is um, writing everything on the same on the same line. So rather than having everything else like this, you can actually write everything on the same line. So let's say we are, want to add here out to 168, sorry, 192, 168.30.0 slash 24. Or then we have to say via, via is the gateway 1.1. Or .1. Uh, we can have dev, dev is the name of the interface so that is it so let's add let's write and quit so uh if we do ip route i still have those my two routes if i bring down and up they will they will disappear and my new route will show up so see this is the new route i had it the the two previous routes are gone because i deleted them so this is 192 168.30 the zero slash 24 via 192 to 168.1.1 so that is that is the second method for adding a route let me show you quickly uh, how to do this with nmcli so let me delete i will delete from this file as a matter of fact i'm going to remove this file so i remove the file I let me bring down and up again. If I do IP routes now, the routes are gone. I have only all uh, the, the ones that were configured for me automatically by the system. So, but let me use an MCLI. If you are not familiar with an MCLI, I made a video earlier how you can use an MCLI. So, I have an MCLI connection show. So now I want to modify my connection. I will say MCLI connection modify. Or uh, the name of the connection is system ETH0. I want to modify the IPv4 routes. You can have uh, IPv6 routes. So this this is why you have to specify IPv4 routes. Then I have to put everything in a quote. So I I want a route to 192 the uh, let me use 50 this time the 0 slash 24 and the gateway is 192.168.1.1 uh, this is enough so you see I, I specified the network and the network mask then the gateway that's it uh, let's add it so let's bring down and hop the interface uh, let's go and look at our file uh, first let's look at our route so you see the route was created for us so let's actually look at the file that we created earlier because the file was actually uh, the file will actually be created by nmcli we created it with hand earlier but and we removed it but now it has been created again by NMCLI, NMCLI created this. So you see the same thing that we did earlier was done for us now by NMCLI. Let's add another one quickly with NMCLI. So let's say we want to add one more. We'll put a plus sign here. Then let's say we want to add to this time around, let's say the 100 network. And let's, uh, oh, pardon me with that. Let's add one more thing let's add a metric so metric of 140 let's bring down and hop the interface and let's run ip routes now see another route has been added the previous route was still there because we did add addition so if we look at the file again you see in a second set was added you know this was similar to what we did 
but now it was done for us by NMCLI, which I think is cool. So let's move away from CentOS, let's go to Ubuntu. So now I am on Ubuntu, let's say uh, OS release. I am on Ubuntu 16.04. So uh, the way you do it on Ubuntu is a little bit different. So you have to edit the file Etsy network interfaces. Uh, but I think so. But I think so. It is using in another file for to define the networks. So let's go to that directory of interface dot d, or uh, then. The file is uh, 50 50 dash cloud init.config. So we have to add our route here. So to do it on Ubuntu, all you have to do is up, then you have to do route add, and you say dash net. The route that I want to add is 192, 168. Let's call it. Uh, 120 the zero slash 24 gateway the gateway is 192.168.1.1 and the uh the dev is uh here is ens3 that is the name of the interface we are dealing with so if i run ip link so the interface we are dealing with it ens3 so um to, so if you run IP routes, uh, we have a couple of routes, but let me restart. Our route is not there yet. I will restart my networking. So networking restarted. Let's run IP route again. So you see the route we added now shows up. So this is one way to accomplish this on Ubuntu. But if you have, I don't have NMCLI on this Ubuntu system, but if you have NMCLI, you can do similar. You can do exactly what I did here. You can uh, use the NMCLI to add it on Ubuntu. But if you don't have NMCLI, you can use uh, the, the method you know, that we just used here, which is to edit you know the file that contains uh, and you have to be sure that the file you are editing contains the interface you are dealing with so we are dealing with ens3 so uh, you have to be sure that the file you know that you are editing has you know the uh, configuration relating to ens3 so um i think that is all so just keep in mind there are different methods. Uh, I've shown you the first method adding multiple lines. The second method just adding one line. And the method that I prefer with NMCLI, you can use NMCLI, like I said, on any operating system that's, that has it, you know, ranging from Ubuntu, Red Hat, Fedora, SUSE, whatever Linux OS you are using. As long as NMCLI is there, I think that is much easier and much universal. So uh, I think that's it for now. Uh, if you have any question, let me know. Thank you for watching. Bye. Take care.